Working alongside veterinarians at an elephant rescue sanctuary in the jungles of Thailand, it was Arya Foster's lifelong dream. A dream that became an unforgettable experience thanks to the LaGrange College Office of Global Engagement. Michelle Raffoon is coordinator. For the students who want a more immersive experience abroad, uh, they usually come in and talk to me and have a discussion on what they're looking for. And most of the time, the questions begin like, where do I start? What do I do? Where do you begin to realize a lifelong dream? Armed with a commitment to seeing the process through, you climb a mountain of paperwork, apply for multiple scholarships, write essays, and go for interviews. Then, a year later, you find yourself on board a jet bound for Southeast Asia. This is my first plane ride, literally ever. Um, but we went from Atlanta to New York, then we met together as a uh, big group, and there were eight of us, and we went out to Frankfurt, Germany, and then to Singapore, and then to Bangkok, and then from Bangkok to Chiang Mai. Bangkok and Chiang Mai are both huge cities in Thailand. Chiang Mai is much smaller than Bangkok, but yeah. A good 22-ish hours and then we drove out roughly like an hour to get to the elephant nature park um, and then we stayed there on site um, for about a week. The first week of Arya Foster's Thailand experience was spent working with the inhabitants of the elephant nature park outside Chiang Mai. Week two included hands-on experience at the dog and cat clinic about 45 minutes outside the city. And week three? We traveled out about three hours to get to the second elephant nature park and we stayed on site there. Yeah, we had three beds. Um, there were just mattresses on the floor. We all had mosquito nets because dengue fever is very real. <laughs> dengue fever? Um, I'm, not, I'm not super familiar with it, but it is, it's common. Our first couple nights there, it was outrageously hot. And I think that was mainly just adjusting to the difference in the temperature and the humidity. Um, honestly, Georgia probably felt about the same when I was away because the temperatures were cranking up before I left. But once we got adjusted to that temperature, it was, it was nothing. Whether we were in the kitchen that day helping chop up elephant food or if we were out with the elephants or with the vet team, we scooped poo, elephant poo from the enclosures, which actually, believe it or not, wasn't that bad, especially having music playing and everyone's doing it and just chatting and everything. But we did have one day where we had a time slot dedicated just to go have a massage. Um, and the massage room was actually like right upstairs from where we ate at. So very convenient in the same area. I could have gone every day if I wanted to. For over 5,000 years, elephants have worked in service to man. At the beginning of the 20th century, more than 100,000 of these giants roamed freely in Thailand. Today, only 3,000 remain for a multitude of reasons. Elephant preserves such as ENP take in sick and abused animals and offer them much needed care. And that is where we worked with an elephant vet to prepare some medications, some syringes. We dealt with an abscess and cleaned up some wounds, but that was overall my favorite part because giving an elephant a shot is much different than giving a dog a shot. There were some that had um, mine explosion injuries where old landmines from past wars, they stepped on them as they were going through throughout their daily lives and everything. Uh, there are some there that have no hair on their tails where their hair was taken off to make bracelets and rings and stuff or shortened tails, which is tough because that hair and the tail, it all helps keeping the flies off and everything and swishing to help regulate um, their body's temperature along with their ears and everything, and some had very, very damaged ears. LaGrange College offers over 300 study away programs in more than 35 different countries. Countries where students can focus on their preferred areas of study, while also gaining a broader understanding of the world they'll soon inherit. There was a student that went to South Africa, and that was done through uh, one of our affiliate partners. We also have sent a student to Oxford she spent a, an entire semester over there, and she loved it. She came back a completely different person. I, I'm very glad that I went. Um, it was an experience of a lifetime, honestly. Um, and I could see myself living in Thailand at some point as soon as I'm finished with vet school. So uh, you know, we've had a lot of students do it, but I'd love to see a whole lot more. The study abroad experience of a lifetime is waiting for you. Take the first step today. 
visit passport.lagrange.edu or attend one of Michelle Raffoon's Global Engagement Information Sessions scheduled throughout the year.